Welcome to day eight of the Saints of Color Novena. I'm Emmanuel Rinas of the Jesuit Post, and today it is my pleasure to introduce Brother Jacob Mazur Battistoni. My name is Brother Jacob Mazur Battistoni, and I'm a member of the Central Province Dominicans. The saint we will be praying with today is Martin de Porres. Saint Martin was a preacher born in 16th century Lima, Peru. Saint Martin's mother was a freed African slave who was born in Panama and his father was a Spanish noble. St. Martin inherited his mother's dark complexion and faced ridicule from his father because of it. Sadly, St. Martin's father left his family, leaving Martin, his sister, and his mother to survive in the lowest parts of Lima society. When St. Martin was young, he became the apprentice to a barber, learning the various medical and hygienic procedures that barbers performed at that time. This included minor surgeries, dressing wounds, and of course, cutting hair. After a time, St. Martin sought to join the Dominicans as a lay helper, aiming to assist in the preaching mission of the Dominicans by caring for the monastery's needs. Eventually, through humble and faithful service to the community, St. Martin was admitted by the superior of the community to be a professed brother in the Dominican order despite unjust laws that prevented black people from joining religious communities at that time. St. Martin touched the lives of many people during his time with the Dominicans. St. Martin lived his life with reckless love, leading to miraculous and natural healings. He had deep compassion for all people, and even healed those who looked down upon him, thus healing not just the body, but souls filled with hate and prejudice. St. Martin also was generous to the poor and industrious in establishing and sustaining charitable organizations that supported orphans, the hungry, and young women seeking to enter monasteries. St. Martin fed his zeal for preaching the gospel in word and deed through his intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. He often stayed up all night praying for the brothers and speaking to God, having mystical experiences. Jesus supported St. Martin through the sacraments, manifesting the deep connection between devotion to Jesus Christ in the poor and Christ in the Eucharist. St. Martin is the first black saint in the Americas. He is also the patron saint of mixed race people, barbers, and racial harmony, among other notable characteristics. His witness is timely during our time in history and society. St. Martin de Porres exemplified the simplicity of the gospel in his life, and his zeal is something that we can learn from today. The fire of love burned in St. Martin's heart, leading him to transcend the boundaries of society through the power of Jesus Christ. St. Martin cared deeply for the poor, materially and spiritually, and sought to bring peace and restoration to each person in his local and broader Lima community. We can learn to love like St. Martin, but this is only possible when we grow to love Jesus and allow the gospel to shape our lives. Then our preaching as Christians will be shaped by the message of Christ, and the love of Christ will imbue our lives. The same love that, jo that drove Martin to action can move us to act too. Nothing is possible for the kingdom of heaven without Jesus, and St. Martin knew this when he said, I cure them, but God heals them. How is Jesus calling you to be an agent of God's healing in the church today? By following the path of humility and love that St. Martin offers through his life, God can do great things through your life too. St. Martin de Porres, pray for us. Let us now pray the Novena Prayer together. Almighty Father, we pray as one church through the intercession of these holy people that we may experience a deeper conversion of heart as we seek to imitate the love of your Son, Jesus. Send your Holy Spirit to inflame our hearts with a desire for sanctity and justice. Through the lives of these virtuous people, inspire us to grow in holiness and work towards greater racial reconciliation in a world that is in need of hope and peace. In your name we pray. Amen.